to do. What do you guys think? Should I bulk or should I keep cutting? I do want to build more muscle to be honest. Because I know if I keep leaning down, I'm going to be looking really, really small. Even if my protein is high and if I keep working out, like, I'm just going to keep leaning and leaning and probably going to get smaller. And I don't want that. Hell no. Especially for my height. I'm going to look like I could get my ass whooped by everybody. And I don't want to look like that. <laughs> I'm probably gonna bulk for today. I'm gonna give you guys a day of bulking, all right? I'm gonna show you guys how to bulk right. When you start bulking, <laughs> you're not used to eating high amounts of food, so your stomach hurt. Uh, Today's workout's gonna be legit. I'm gonna destroy my chest today. I don't wanna be small. I mean, I wanna be the very best. Like no one ever was. I want to get the most muscle I can as a natural, you know? Maybe not the most, but. 80% of the most. It just depends how I look. But it's gonna be a lot more fun now because I'm eating more. So all my hormones are gonna go back to the balance level. My energy is gonna go back. And I'm just gonna be happier. Because when you're in a deficit, you know, there's days where you're like, fuck! Fuck people! But you know, when you're bulking, you're like, la 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 if you love working out and you know what I'm talking about, then you know it's true. Like I said before, today I'm going to destroy my chest. And I'm going to teach you guys how to destroy your chest. Just follow me. Just do what I do. And if you're a beginner, write the notes and then do them later. No excuses. Just do it. This is nothing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed them push-ups. I love doing push-ups, especially with different variations. A lot of people underestimate push-ups, but they got the game twisted because push-ups will make your physique look solid. So yes, I do recommend push-ups in your routine. Anyways, I moved on to 235 dumbbell bench press, 12 reps for my first set. Then for my second and third set, I did eight reps with 40s. So for my last set, I burned out with 225s, meaning I did as many as I can until I got tired. Because in order for you to build muscle, you have to fatigue your muscles. You have to destroy your muscles. That's how you get stronger. That's how you get faster. That's how you get better. And that's how you get more muscular. So you have to push it to the limit. Once your body gets used to that limit, then you increase the intensity and then you keep going and going and going. Never stop. Just keep going. And for the final exercise I did for destroying my chest was dips. On my first set, I did 12. Second set, I did 10. And third set, I did 8. Dips is one of the best exercises out there because it targets your lower chest, your triceps, and your shoulders. All you got to do is lean a little forward and start dipping and you'll be all good.
good workout. That's what carbs do. So recently I just bought some vegan protein and I'm gonna give you guys a review on it because I haven't even tried it. So I'm gonna let you guys know. It's this one, Vega One plant-based protein. And I wanna see if it's good. Cause if it's nasty, I'm never gonna get it again. Even if it's healthy, I don't care. I don't wanna be tasting anything nasty. You feels me? You feels me? The amount of protein it has, it's 20 grams of protein, 170 calories. Honestly, I don't care about the carbs or fat. I only care about the calories and protein. That's the only thing I always look at. You need carbs and you need fats, especially if you want a good workout. Plus, I just lost a lot of energy right now and I need to regain everything I lost with some nutrients, protein especially. And I'ma just get one scoop. You see, I told you guys I haven't tried it. I ain't lying. You see, I can't even take it off, so just in case you guys don't believe me. Mmm, eh, eh. doesn't smell that bad. Nope, it's nasty. Mm-mm, it's just gross. Nah, I'm just kidding. It actually tastes kind of good. And that's me just licking it off the damn lid or whatever this is. And there you go, people. One scoop. Nah, I'm just kidding. Oh, I just dropped a lot. Shit. One scoop right here. 12 ounces of water right here. The other arm. You don't want to have imbalanced muscles, you know. Let's try it. It tastes pretty damn good. The only reason I went with vegan protein and why it's better than regular protein is because not only does it have protein, but it has so many micronutrients, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, and all these ones right here. And that right there is healthy because not only you're getting your protein, but you're just getting all these damn good vitamins to your system. And that will help you recover way quicker than regular protein that's just made with all this nasty ingredients for your body, you know? It's not good for you. You see it has, um, it has 20 grams of protein, six servings of greens, 50% vitamins and minerals, fiber, omega-3s, antioxidants, probiotics, and 170 calories. That ain't nothing. So bottom line, I do recommend it. Vega One, you did a good job. You get an A in my book. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping